Uh, just a quick uh, notification here. I just got uh, informed that OSHA is demanding or changing their requirements for how you face adverse reactions with your employees as an employer and how you report those reactions to OSHA. So what they're asking is any adverse reaction to the JAB, VAX, um, they don't want to hear it. There is intentionally no adverse reaction that you can report related to that medical procedure. Furthermore, they want you to retroact your um, your claims, which me personally, I have no claims with all of this nonsense, but the point is if you're an employer and you had a claim in February, you have to retro that in your log. So you're basically erasing all evidence of any adverse reaction of said JAB. Um, that's one good way to cook statistics, isn't it? So if you don't believe me, go to OSHA, see what they're saying. Um, I'll try to put a link in the description if I find it, but I'll, I'll look later. But I'm just going by my compliance. People are telling me that, and uh, it's very disturbing because I don't have to even tell you why. They're just, they don't want to hear if you have immunization um, and you come down with an adverse reaction or... Um, said sickness that's that doesn't count they won't they will not qualify to OSHA as a substantial uh, consideration as an employer just thought you should know that